Hi everyone, it's Kendra here, welcome back. In today's video, I hope you'll come sew with me as I make a newborn gown. I'm going to be doing this out of a women's t-shirt and I'm going to be using a free pattern that is available online from Stitch Together. I'll make sure to have everything linked down below. You are more than able to make one out of a existing sleeper or other gown if you have one. However, since there are a lot of free resources and they are quite easy to print off since they are so small, um, I'm I'm just going to link you to this one here um, and use that as a starting point today. So to begin with, I have a women's large t-shirt. You want to make sure that it is nice and stretchy um, and not too thin. And that's just preference. Um, some of the really thin jerseys just don't work quite as well. This one's in really good shape. I picked it up at the thrift store. I am going to go ahead and maximize the back and the front and you can check against your pattern. You'll see here that my pattern is longer than the shirt. However, compared to the size of a newborn, I know I have enough room. It just may not last quite as long. I think this one is labeled to last to about six months. I realize it may not last quite so long, but I am fine with that since I'm aiming for a more newborn size. So once I have it lined up, I am going to cut around using my rotary cutter here. Um, and I'm going to try to keep the existing neckline and the existing hem. Now, this is not necessary if the shape of your shirt doesn't allow it. However, it really does save a step in um, having both of those pieces finished. Once I am done cutting out the first piece, I am going to fold the back this time, or the front, I don't know, we need both pieces here. Now I'm doing the gown back, lining it up as well as I can and cutting out this second piece. I'm going to be using the arms of this shirt to cut the arm pieces out. Um, depending on the size of your shirt, if it is like an XXL or something, there may be enough room on the sides to cut it out from there. However, I am going to be using the arm pieces and I'm actually going to cut the sleeve all the way off and compare it to my pattern. I can either fold the pattern or cut open the sleeve um, just to match them up. And you can use um, or line it up towards the end of your sleeve and try to use that existing hem as well. However, since this is a long sleeve and I've got lots of room, I thought I would go to the top and then I can use the pieces left over and I bet I can make a little pair of leggings or something out of what is left. So I'm just gonna cut that out and repeat on the second sleeve. So on the pattern pieces, there are a few places where you are supposed to mark it, and that is where it overlaps um, on kind of the lap opening around the neck. So I did go ahead and put my pattern back on to mark those pieces, and then also in the center of the sleeve, there is a spot to mark as well. The first seam is that overlapping section, so I'm just gonna line up the two marks that I made and uh, pin it in place on both sides. And you begin by just really basting it together. Um, it will be caught when you join it to the sleeve, but you do want to make sure that everything is placed where it needs to be first. I just ran this through my serger here and uh, completed that seam on both sides. Open it up and you will now be attaching the sleeve, that center that you marked, to the center um, of the overlap where you just sewed. I like to go ahead and pin that center piece first and then go through the arm openings on both sides, adding some pins to make sure everything is where it needs to be. You'll then repeat pinning on the second side and sew the, those seams on. Now 
now that those seams are attached, we are going to be sewing the underarm, um, the length of the sleeve, and all the way down to the base of the gown. Uh, you just want to make sure that under the arm is lined up so that those seams are in the right spots. I like to add a pin there and then take it over to my serger and sew both sides. Those seams are now complete. You can take a look and make sure everything is lined up the way you would like it to be. Um, and next up, we are going to hem our arms. And I just do this by folding it over twice and doing a long straight stitch. Zigzag's probably better in this case or like a lightning stitch, um, but generally speaking, a baby's hand's not that big. And as long as my stitch length is longer, um, I haven't really had any problems in the past. Repeat this on both sides and we will be bringing it back to work on the bottom. And this is where we add in our elastic. So since I saved my original hem, I'm going to be able to just fold it over and do a straight stitch all around before inserting my elastic. However, if it's a raw edge, you may want to fold it over one more time just so that that raw edge is not exposed. But again, you can line up if you want, just leave a large enough opening that you'll be able to get your elastic inserted. Once you've sewn all the way around, I like to attach a safety pin to the end of my elastic and just put it through the casing all the way around. Once it comes through, it's going to be up to you how wide you want it to be. Um, you can leave it fairly loose and then it's more likely that their feet may stick out. But again, if you leave it tighter, then it could be tight on their legs. So just kind of take a look and see. I, the pattern gives some suggestions on this as well, um, but I usually just eyeball it instead of measuring. And once it is all the way through, I just overlap my pieces and do kind of a reinforced zigzag back and forth to make them into that loop. And then you can tuck, once it is sewn, tuck it back into the casing and complete the straight stitch um, where you had left off before. Now is the time to go through and make sure that you cut all of those little strings and things that could be bothersome to the baby and to complete your newborn gown. All right, so that is really all there is to it. This is such a quick, fun little project. And if you have a nice t-shirt, it really comes together really well. Um, I went ahead and made a second one in the dark purple, and I really think that they will be great to use. Um, I like them in the early days, in the nights to do easy diaper changes. And it's so easy to just slip it up to change a diaper um, and you don't have to worry about any zips or snaps or anything else. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Again, check out the link to the original pattern, um, which I will leave in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.